So hey there, we are finishing up our stay here in the Philippines. We're at the Well Beach Dive Resort, and I hope you enjoyed a lot of the videos from this place. Uh, we just checked out and we had a great time here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Service, the food, the rooms, and the diving was great, so we're happy. Today is gonna be a travel day. We are heading up to Dumagate. From Dumagate, we're getting on an airplane to Manila. No, yeah, Manila. Yeah. And then this evening, we're flying from Manila to Bangkok. We're staying at one of my favorite airport hotels in Bangkok. It's called the Golden Foyer. And we'll share that with you. And there's a nice little night market outside. I'll share that with you. And that's probably what you can expect to see in this video. A really uneventful, easy travel day. No major hiccups. And uh, see you in a bit. All right, so this is who I got my scooter from. And I will put her a link to her Facebook profile down below this video. And that's her assistant right there. Yeah. And they did a great job. Thank you. The scooter was excellent. The price was good. So yeah. hopefully when somebody comes to visit, they contact you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. For okay. Your... Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Have a safe flight. Thank you. I'm here at the airport. Kim was in that truck right there. So I think she is probably out of the truck. Hey, there's Kim. Perfect timing. Here we are inside the airport. We flew in Philippine. We flew in... Uh, Air Asia and we're flying out Philippine Airlines, so we're gonna go check in over there. So there is no line. We arrived safely in Manila, and we're actually here for about six hours, so different airline and stuff, different tickets, so we gotta go get our bags, and then we've got about six hours to find food and hang out and get to our new terminal. We arrived at Terminal 2 with Philippine Airlines domestic flight. Now we have to go international, which is going to be Air Asia. We arrived in Terminal 2. We've got to get to Terminal 3. And if you've seen the map of Manila Airport, the terminals are pretty spread out. You don't really walk them. So inside the baggage claim area, a guy told us that there's a free shuttle at Bay 19, which is just about a three minute walk. And that's where we're headed now, right Kim? the shuttle bus from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 and Kim. We're here at the airport looking for a place to eat. We've got about six hours here and level two of Terminal 3 has got a lot of food options. We already passed about six or eight options and Kim wants hamburgers. So Kim wants hamburgers. Guess what Kim gets? So this is where we were thinking of going, and it's probably pretty good, but there was another restaurant over there, Mary Grace, that was really popular, that Kim's the boss, and she thinks she would rather eat there, so we're going there. So the menu here looks great. They've got plates, like full meals. They've got these awesome sandwiches, and I'm thinking of getting this one right here. Philly beef and tomato. If I do, I'll share it with you. 
but they've got soups and salads. And I just told Kim we might eat here twice today. Could you see that happening? Yeah. The menu looks good, right? Kim's meal has arrived. She's got a nice pasta, a garlic bread, a chicken salad with an orange wedge. And is that pesto? Yeah, it's like a pesto and type pasta. Looks good to me. Mine has arrived. I've got this steak sandwich right there with tomatoes, then the cassava chips with onion dip. The meal came with a dessert, a tiramisu. Ter and they didn't skimp on the serving a tiramisu, did they? Nope, two forks. It's good. I think they did. Dun, dun, dun. And just like that, it's gone. Kim, what did you do? It's, we're in Manila Airport, and it's a busy airport. And it's set up a little bit like Bangkok Airport. Meaning they have these rows that go out, and then people congregate in the middle to check in on each side, on the left side and the right side. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five or six of them. So in some ways, the layout's very similar to Bangkok. So we made it through immigration and security. My bag was, I thought it was flagged and because it came out a different side and I thought they were gonna have to go through it and they didn't. They just said, no, you're good to go. So that was good. Uh, checking in, the lines were super long and they weren't moving very slow, but I was paying attention. I saw a line open up. I sent somebody over there to see if it was open. This girl looked like she really needed to get somewhere. So she went first and then we followed her and I'd say we saved 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. That's how slow it was. So all in all is good. We are now in the actual departure terminal area and we are happy to see there are plenty of places to eat. You see all these places to eat, Kim? Not like we need to eat right now, but... Didn't we just eat? Yes, we did. We're, we're eating again though, aren't we? Maybe yes. Where are you on, Kim? I'm going to Bangkok. From where? From Manila. We've arrived in Bangkok. Thought we were gonna get here at eight o'clock for some reason, but it's actually nine o'clock. And I think we've got about a 40 minute ride. So we're not gonna to get to where we're going until probably like 10, because we still gotta get our bags and stuff. So we'll keep you posted. The airport's really quiet. We are here at 10 p.m., so it's probably an odd hour. I know a lot of international flights arrive at like midnight, like I usually do. So this is our first time actually, actually, this is a whole different airport, now that I think about it. I was flown into Suvan Abumi, <laughs> and we are at Don Moyang. So this is new for us, but we're going towards the taxi door. Hey there, Kim. Hey. So let me show you our room real quick. This is the Golden Foyer Hotel. And it is an airport hotel for the Suvana Bomb Airport. Let me show you the view out the window here. And you can't see it right now, but this area right here is a awesome night market. It's just too late, so there's no night market going on now. And I'll show you what the bathroom looks like. And that's it. 
you know, shower, clean, spacious rooms. And this hotel is about $30 a night. It didn't include breakfast. I think we can buy breakfast extra. When I booked it, they didn't have the breakfast, but this room is a great buy for the Bangkok Airport, Suvana Bomb Airport Hotel. So that's it. See you guys later.